How you doing everybody? This is Stanley Rosen from the Kayaks Company. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What an amazing feedback on that uh, Zillow situation, or better yet, my Zillow rant. I just uh, want to make sure that I clarify a couple things because it really doesn't matter. Um, everybody's always going to have different views from different standpoints in life. And I just want to clarify something. Um, Number one, I don't dislike anybody. I don't dislike Zillow. I don't dislike my broker and I don't dislike my board. Um, all I do not like and what I'm trying to state here is Zillow's practices of the way they run their business to make it profitable for them and not worry about anybody else when we, the agents, are the ones that are making them nice and fat so that they can show properties and sell our leads. So it's been inter interesting because if you go down my uh, different posts of the videos that I've had, you're gonna see you're gonna have all different comments. Some people don't care, some people are fine with it, you know, and at the end of the day, um, my views will always be my views, my opinions will be my opinions, and I will never change that. We, the listing agents, the top agents, are missing out on the opportunity to be able to service customers. Now, with that said, even if you paid, you're still missing out. But my main concern is, and I ran a couple tests this weekend, is people don't pick up their phones. Does that mean that we lost the client? And then I have other agents that call me and say, yeah, we work, you know, because I'm shopping around and seeing what type of agents and what quality agents are out there representing our properties no matter what the price value is. So I just don't see the sense of professionalism. They don't understand the property. And in other words, they can switch them out to other properties because Zillow doesn't properly update. And the question that I have is would the public actually list their property for the amount that Zillow says. If they're so dependent on believing in what they see, would they list their price at the Zestimate? So, concerned, concerned that people might have misconstrued my, my point here, but at the end of the day, um, the failure rate in the real estate industry uh, I really, I'm, the, I'm no one to be talking about that percentage, but it's fairly high. So with that said, this is Stanley Rosen from the Kais Company, only wanting to make sure that Zillow practices are not deceitful, misleading, and confusing to the consumer. Now, for all the realtors that are trying to buy their business rather than build their business, good luck. I wish you the best. I will continue to build. I will continue to do. And at the end of the day, I will continue to be on top of the situation because I don't think it's right. And that's only my opinion. And as you can see below all my videos, I have not erased and will not erase nor delete any post, whether it's positive or negative. Okay? So once again, Stanley Rosen, the Kai's company, keeping you up to date. Stop Zillow.